Okay, 13. Alright, so this one is, was a little uh, challenging for me to uh, come up with a diagnosis. The, I guess the striking thing is that we do not have epi. It's missing, so it's hard to say is it, why did it separate, is, is it an artifact, did it separate uh, because it died, so it's hard to say. But then, I guess you start looking uh, into the dermis and you see these vessels, they're very large, um, and you see this variety of hemophilic deposition in the vessel wall, which is fibrin. Yep. Um, but you do not see the destruction of the vessel with the um, like neutrophils and hairy rectus and that kind of stuff. Um, however, you still get a little bit of um, blood cell extravasation in some places. Mm -hmm. um, there's other foci of vessels that look um, like cannibal, cannibal vessels like Dr. Kish was describing in the stasis. So, um, Perhaps this is a leg site. Um, so it's a vasculopathy, I guess, not a vasculitis. Okay. And, um, I guess lividoid vasculopathy, but honestly, I, I do not know how to come to this conclusion. Yeah, I think I think like you said, this is very challenging. Again, you're not you're doing these cases cold with no history, which obviously in real life you know, it's, it is good to practice this way. And I try to look at my cases this way and then, and then compare the history to see if what I'm seeing from the pattern makes sense with the clinical. And I think it's a nice way to kind of check myself. Um, and, uh, but yes, it, it's a lot harder here because it's hard to orient yourself to like which way is up even, right? I mean, probably this could be dermis, but I also thought when I first looked at this, I mean, are we way down like near the fascia or something? It's really hard to tell because the tissue is so abnormal and distorted, so many reactive changes and there's no epidermis. But you highlighted the key point, and the fat has got a lot of like fat necrosis, reactive, there's fat necrosis here, reactive fibrotic changes, but the key is the vessels, right? The vessels, and obviously this is vasculitis, vasculopathy session, so the, the vessels are definitely abnormal, they have real thick walls, the endothelial cells are swollen, and there's a ton of bright red fibrin in the wall and around the outside of the vessel. In some areas, actually even like thrombus formation in the vessel. And like you said, you, you nicely picked up on the background point that up there, the vessels are kind of clustering up into the, I guess, the cannonball arrangement that you guys were talking about that you can see in the setting of, of venous insufficiency and stasis. Um, so yes, this is, this is lividoid vasculopathy, also known as atrophy blanche, which usually, of course, occurs like on the ankle region and the skin breaks down and then heals with these like white scarred areas. And there's kind of two settings. Some people have this as a form of kind of thrombotic vasculopathy and other people get it from just stasis, I guess. The, I, I was just reading about that and I didn't realize that it was that some people subdivided into two kind of <clears throat> etiology. So I thought that was interesting. I always thought of it as just being a severe form of stasis related change, but evidently not everyone has severe stasis that gets this. So, um, but yes, you get, you get fibrin in the wall of the vessels, fibrin making little thrombi in the vessels. The vessels get very damaged over time. And, um, but you don't really have a leukocytoclastic vasculitis. You may see some scattered neutrophils kind of diapedicing out of the vessel, but you're not going to see like an actual florid leukocytoclastic vasculitis change. So we see vessels like this actually in really severe stasis. Um, on a regular basis, I'll encounter like a, one or two vessels with a bright fiber around it, or even a couple little thrombi. And normally I see thrombi in the vessels in the dermis. I want to get the patient worked up for coagulopathy or something, but I feel like in severe stasis in the papillary dermis, if I see a couple thrombi, I feel like that's just normally stasis related that the blood slowed down so much it begins to make a little thrombus and it's probably not a sign of systemic coagulopathy. It depends on the clinical scenario, I guess. But yeah, this is, this is <clears throat> lividoid vasculopathy, aka atrophy blanche.